What's up YouTube? This your girl Kanisha again back with another video today. I just decided um, this morning that I had a taste for some good, a good hot breakfast. And by this was an off day for me, I decided to fix some bacon and grits for me and my daughter. So as you can see, and also sausage as well. So we had sausage, turkey, bacon, and grits. But yeah, that's what you pretty much see me doing. And it was actually really good. Yeah, and that's my plate. So next, now, um, it was actually a wash day today as well. Um, I had to do some laundry. I, like I said, I had almost like two weeks worth of laundry that I had to uh, wash and complete. So yeah, that's pretty much what you've seen me doing is getting them clothes, getting them clean back up. And right now, this, I'm actually folding up my dry clothes. But yeah, it was a laundry day today. I know laundry day usually be the most challenging days for me in the week. But like I say, laundry, you have to get... Yeah, I'm just folding up the clean and dry laundry so I can get that packed away. But yeah, it has to get done. Day. Hey. I just took this empty milk jug and made a and drew but I don't have any paint but yeah I caught myself just trying to come up with a little creation y'all know that I told you I like arts and crafts I was just sitting here just playing with this milk jug and just made this little creation out of it I probably end up setting this on my my little table so I can have more fall decorations in my room. But yeah, this is what I did with the empty milk jug. I just kind of cut it on it and made, tried to make a pumpkin out of it. Yep. So right now, me and my daughter, I decide, you all know the poster boards that I showed you all in the previous video. We just sitting here kind of drawing some little fall pictures. So we decided to draw some pumpkins and, you know, just color, you know, the get to get more in the um to you know have more fall little decorations inside the room yeah i was supposed to have went to the dollar store um and got some more fall decorations but i haven't been yet so i just decided you know with the poster boards why not be creative and just you know make some paint some pictures or cutter so that's what we pretty much doing just drawing some pumpkins and coloring and, you know, just spending some little mother door the time with each other because it's actually fall break for her. And so I'm glad that I, you know, was off this particular day so we can just sit here and draw and color. Well, yeah, that's what we pretty much doing now, just drawing some pictures and coloring. <laughs> beautiful people i hope you all is doing well this morning um it's, it's so good to um be, be in like i say be, be able to just be all for a change and just relax and give some rest but um yeah i just want to touch bases on i know i wasn't intending to put this um inside my video for this because it's going to be a fall vibe but I just wanted to touch bases on this because these last couple of weeks, it's just been kind of, you know, hectic for me at work. But 
I just really wish people can learn to appreciate workers that chose to come back to work. Now, we all know that it's a pandemic and we've been going through this thing going on two years now. What I don't understand is how people can come into these places, into, you know, whatever business occupation it is, and complain about, you know, stuff that the workers don't have no control over. And what I don't understand is, like, how can you, you claim you're a manager or you're an owner? Okay, so you know every anywhere you go nowadays is short staff for workers. And people is doing the best they can out here. And I just, I don't understand why people don't appreciate the people that chose to come back to work. A lot of people out here, they don't get paid the, the pay that they supposed to be paid. They being overworked due to it's not being enough staff. And then for a guest or someone to come in and give an employee a hard time for doing their job, I just find that to me is just a disgrace because at the same time, you know, these people chose to come back you know, to work and serve you. And here you is, you want to complain about what this person doing when they doing the best they can. This past week has been very hectic for me. And I, you know, I always like to make the best of every, every day or everything I do. Um, there was a lady, cause I know you, I know I work at a hotel. There was a lady came in at my job. She checked in from my understanding. She gave the, um, my, my coworker a hard time, which is a desk clerk. So she she came in, I guess after maybe 10, 15 minutes later, she called down and said something was wrong with her room. So I went up to see what was going on. She started pointing down at the floor. Oh, that's a dirt spot. That's a dirt spot. That's a dirt spot. I said, well, ma'am, that's how the, you know, the, the towel made on the floor. The floor, it, it might look like it's dirty, but it's not dirty. Oh, I got OCD. This, 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 this. My thing is, if you got OCD, you should bring your own Lysol or, you know, traveling um traveling kit with you with cleaning supplies if you dare OCD. My thing is housekeepers, they doing the best they can. And housekeepers and servers, they don't make a lot of money. I used to be a housekeeper and once a server. Housekeepers and servers work very hard and don't make a lot of money. And I just wish people can appreciate you know, the effort that people, you know, put into their their job description because they're doing the best they can. And one thing what I don't understand is, you know, when you, um, one thing I don't understand is why, you know, people complaining about what other people don't not doing when they know, you know, it, it, it's it, this economy is different now. It's not like it was before the pandemic. You know, it been times where I wanted to just family, you know, work from home, but the type of person I'm in, because I don't want nobody to destroy my peace and my happiness, because I always had a passion for working in the hospitality industry. But right now, you know, due to the pandemic and all this stuff that's going on now, it's, it's kind of making me change my mind and would, would like to work from home where I won't have to deal with people physically, because people sometimes they come to these places, they have an attitude problem, then they want to take their anger out on the workers. And, you know, you hear about stuff happening all over the world, you know, with jobs and people coming in places, giving workers a hard time and sometimes, you know, just doing all kinds of stuff. But me, I always the type I like to keep the peace. But that lady, she really, she really made me mad that day, but I didn't really let her just, you know, she kind of, I say I never let nobody spoil my day no more by bringing their negative energy into my space because it was something personally she had going on. But it's a certain way how we should say things and how we do things. I mean, you know, all that going off about what somebody not doing. I mean, you know, and then she claims she on her own business. So, okay, so if you own your own business, you know that it, it, it's anywhere you go, it's short staff. But, um, yeah, it's just sad, yeah, sad, y'all. I just, like I said, I just wish people, we don't get enough acknowledgement for what we do. We don't get enough um, thank yous. For I think I had, at my last job, I think I had two or three people said, thank you for coming back to work. Thank you. I never forget at an old job I was working at because I most of my last fruit jobs been in hotels. I had a little girl told me um, I was making coffee. I had a line. Now, that's why I say I know how what housekeepers and servers go through because it's... um. You know, they get, they don't make that much money because I was once a servant and a housekeeper. I had a line. I'm not me. I'm sitting up here. I'm, I'm waiting tables. I'm taking orders. I got to fix food, 
People come back asking me they need extra this, extra that, extra that. I had a line from my register all the way down to the front desk. So I never forget. That's a lot of people for one person to be trying to tend to. But I'm currently not at that job no more because it just it was just getting too stressful for me. And it just started bothering my peace and I said, it's just time to go. But the little girl, she said, ma'am, I don't know how often you hear this, but thank you so much. Thank you for your service. For a 10-year-old to sit up there and say something like that, and it's a child, and you got grown people out here don't even understand, what seem like they don't understand, they just don't care. That just let you know, that just goes to show you what kind of world we're living in now. Because you got kids now got more sense than some adults do. But, um... Yeah, I just wish people could learn to just appreciate good workers because it's, it's so sad. Like I said, we choose to come back to serve you and for you not to be appreciative, it's just a no-no for me. But yeah, that's all I'm going to But I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm not going to just ramble too much. But yeah, I just wanted to get that off my shoulder because I, it's just happening too much for me. I, I'm the type I normally don't really say much, but... Yeah, people just, people really need to thank the people that chose to come back to work. Because it's, it's p people out here now, they don't plan on coming back. You got a lot of people working from home. And I salute those that chose to work from home because it's getting to the point now where I might, maybe in another year or so, decide to do that um, private work from home. Because working in the public now, is just, it's becoming out of control. You have to watch your surroundings everywhere you go. You don't know if a person, what they're, what they're capable of doing. You know, some people mindset's not there no more, you know, so. It's like when you work and you still have to be careful and watch your surroundings in all times. But yeah, that's that's all, y'all. I'm just cause that that right there really bothered me. Cause it's just been like I say, it's just been one of them weeks, just been very, very stressful week. But I've been making the best out of it. And you know, but yeah, people just need to appreciate people and we need to have more thank yous than, you know, complaining about stuff we don't have no control over. When, like I say, we don't have no control of you know, people cho not choosing to come back to work. It's not our fault, us workers, that other people don't want to come back to work. You know, we already being overworked, doing more than what we should for one pay because the place is short style. But then for you to come in somewhere because you got a bad day attitude to complain about what something, somebody, I mean, that just, come on now. But yeah, it, it's just really sad though. I just wish it was more thank yous and acknowledgements than, you know, just complaining about what not being done. Yeah, but, um, yeah, because I remember, the, I'm going to say this and then I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I remember the I thing when I was working, the last hotel job I was at, at current, in a, um, a previous job before the job, prior to the job I'm working now. I went, it was a restaurant. I went downtown and I'll never forget. I dined in and I ate. Food was really good. It was breakfast. I treated myself to some breakfast because at that time I was working two jobs. So I always keep a notebook because y'all know I like the journal. And I wrote down in that notebook, I said, I thought, you know, service was great. And I said, I might check this place out again, but it's like due to me working this job, you know, it'd be sometimes hard for me to get up so early in the morning, like, you know, because I'm working nights nice now. But I had wrote on a piece of paper, I said, thank you for your service. Put a smiley face on there. Left a, 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 at that time, because I was working, I was making tips. So I was able to leave, you know, a, ca a good cash tip. I left the server at that time, $10 on the table with that letter. I said, I hope and pray that it brightened that whoever clung that table up or who that server was. I hope and pray it brightened that day up because I know. I know how it feel because I d did this kind of work before. Same way when I go to Starbucks sometimes. That's, you know, it's a specific Starbucks I go to. Uh, lead, you know, try to leave them a tip. They, you know, because I know how it is, you know, like I told them, no, nah, I appreciate because they was, it, something happened. I forgot what, um, one day when I went to the Starbucks, I don't know if they was out of, um, change or whatever, but I just told them they can keep the change. Don't worry about it. They said, you sure, ma'am? And it, you know, it brightened their day up. They were low on change. So I just told them because I had paid for my coffee. I just told them just keep the change. And they were so, the, the workers there were so happy about that. Say, well, you want me to upgrade your drink? I said, no, 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 this is fine because y'all know I get my refreshers. And it was a grand day refresher. Normally I get a Vince. And I said, no, nah, it's, it's okay. This this is good. I appreciate it. I said, I know how it is. And they started smiling. And I, and I told them, thank you for your service. So we need more thank yous. I would wish people would give out more thank yous than, you know, complaining. But yeah, that's all, y'all. I'm not going to, you know, ramble too much. But yeah, I, I, it's just that right there. That just really bothers me. Because anybody that know me know I don't really say much. 
But I just had to speak up on that because like I say, I'm actually a worker out here working during these times and I have to, you know, I deal with a lot, but I just make the best out of, you know, each day, you know, you will never know. Cause I, you know, I try to make, because I know brighter days ahead, but that particular, this particular week right here, it, it just been very challenging, but yeah, but whatever, whatever you do, I just pray that you all, like I say, continue to be safe. Always watch your surroundings and, you know, just never let no one, you know, um, get the best of you or try to steal your joy. Cause like I say, these people out here, they, they, they is crazy. These people, they will try to steal your joy if you let them, but now nah, don't, you know, give people the authority to do that. But yeah, I, like I say, it's it just, it, it needs, some need to be done because it's, it's just getting out of control. But yeah, you all have a great rest of the day. I pray that your upcoming week, this week be productive for you until then. Bye-bye.